Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Now in this video tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how you can utilize the AI bulk actions feature. Now in order to find this feature, first you need to select create design and it will be located in the fast AI image designer section. Now in the header, you need to scroll across and you will find the feature called AI bulk actions. Go ahead and select that now. Once you select that, you will see it has now appeared AI bulk actions. Now there will be some uh, information such as because of the high demand for this feature, it could take you know up to 24 hours to finish the project, but in most cases it's a lot quicker than that. Now what this will allow you to do is systemize processes and essentially save you a lot of time. Okay, so in some examples that if you have an image that you wanted to either scale up or maybe remove a background, maybe do some face swapping, etc, uh, etc. Et uh, creating this action will will uh, allow you to systemize the entire process and allow artistically um, to do all of the heavy lifting for you. So let me show you what that would look like. So if we go ahead and select create new action, it's going to start with the blank template. So here you can either do one image or you can have more than one image that you want to apply this to. So this is actually fantastic at doing, you know, bulk action jobs instead of you having to do uh, this manually. So it's completely up to you. It just helps you automate entire processes and ultimately saving you a lot of time and a lot of money. Okay, so in this example, if I go to my library, let's say I worked on a project and I had uh, an image that I wanted to select new. So we have this chap here. Okay, so say for example, I select this and you know, you can select more than one image. It's not a problem. You can do that. Um, but for this example, I'm going to stick with a one image. So you get the gist of it. Okay, so I select one. Now you can see you can actually upload more than one image here and it'll uh, appear like so. So anytime you put an image, even if you make a mistake, you can always uh, cancel that out. But in this example, if I want to take this image here, okay, I can drag and drop. So if you have any personal images you have, maybe you want us to scale up or remove a background, uh, you can just drag and drop or browse your own desktop or laptop. Or you can choose from the library from anything that you've already created or maybe your clients given you a bulk of images that they want to scale up as an example okay now once you uploaded your images in this very first section here you probably see something called build action now this is not um this is not enabled yet the reason being first we have to select a step okay now in this example let's say we have this base image here that we've uploaded into an action I want to add a step okay so I'm going to go ahead actually let's go ahead and just add one more because so I think this would be um, even better if we just do one more and try this out okay so uh, we have two images here okay just show you how complex this is and how easy this is to use I'm going to add a step now I'm going to come back and add a step now I've got a couple of choices okay and as time goes on uh, there will be even more steps being added to this but however we have a few here already to get you going but in due course we'll you know as this is um, fully and further developed even more actions will be added here however here are some of the uh, most sought after actions um, in this section here okay so say for example the very first um, thing that I want to do is let's go ahead and let's face swap so now I need to do a face swap so for these i want to uh, swap my faces on both images okay whether you've created an image already or whether you have your own image or maybe a client image that you want to use now for this example i'm going to go ahead into my folder and find my own image so either you can you know like i mentioned you can have your own images that you've created within um artistly or uh, if you already have um, a client that's giving you an image but either or is up to you here we go i'm going to find this image now so the first action okay or the first step i want artistly to do under this feature ai bulk actions is first swap the face and it's going to apply that to both of these images now next what i want to do is add uh, an additional step but i don't have to so you know we can keep this limited as this um you know these these uh just one step essentially so it's completely up to you instead of me doing one by one i can just add as many pictures as i want swap the face and then i'm good to go look now you can see build action has now been enabled however I want to go a little bit further and add another step so in this example i'm going to go ahead and do something called smart extend okay so i'm going to expand the scene 
and I want to make this 16 by 9 because I might want to use this as a thumbnail. Now, a second step has been enabled. Now, at any point, if you're unhappy with a step, you do have the ability of to delete that step and you can start fresh, that's not a problem. So in this example, if I go, you can see I've deleted it and I could re-add a step if I've made a mistake. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to Smart Extend, put it as 16 by nine. Now we have step number two has now been enabled into our bulk actions list, okay? Now I can go ahead and build actions. But I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna add one more step. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna look at two things. Either I can have this converted to print ready as 300 DPI, so if I wanna do print on uh, uh, demand or print on design, uh, this would be great for the, oh, I can upscale the image uh, either or. But for this, let's just say, I wanna get this ready for print, so I'm gonna go for this one. Okay, now if I want, I could add another step, I could remove the background or upscale the image, etc., etc. But now I'm, um, I'm happy with this so far. Okay, so I'm gonna just keep it as that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and select build action. Now I'm gonna add a, a name for this. So the action, let's call it, um, let's call it test, okay, test bulk action, face swap times two, times two, okay. And there we go, I'm gonna go ahead and select build. Now you can see the action is now running. Now, as I've put two images in this process, this is why sometimes it can take up to 24 hours, but normally it's a lot quicker than that because it depends on the uh, the level of uh, imagery or designs that you're inputting in, hence why it's called bulk action. So you can imagine if you're doing a bulk uh, number of image like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, uh, in, in this uh, scenario, then yes, it will take time because it's gonna be running so many different scenarios or different steps steps uh, depending on what you've designated it to do uh, hence why it can take a little bit longer but this in this example you know from this you can see we have those two images and as you can see those images are still there so any point i can remove them or i could run different scenarios so for example if i wanted to remove the background once i've removed it uh, maybe i want to do smart extend and then once i've extended it then maybe i want to do a face swap then i add you know some images of the faces i want there uh, really really simple okay but for this, I'm gonna go back to actions and what we're going to do is go back to personal designs because I believe they are now ready. So check this out. Um, I have this image has been done now. Remember what we did? We uploaded the image, we've done a face swap and we enhanced the quality of uh, the design so it's ready for print. And likewise, this one was another image that we uploaded and it got scaled up in terms of ready for print and also face swap. So. Uh, my face has now been applied, the facial features has been merged and sculpted uh, into this overall workflow on these two images. And you can see how powerful this is. So these were just two examples that we used. Uh, furthermore, if I wanted to, I could then go and do, uh, you know, advanced AI, I could go and edit in the advanced AI designer if I wanted to then build this out into this into an ad, uh, maybe add additional imagery, anything that I want I can do. But I can always come back into the bulk action. Now that I've done it, uh, maybe I wanna further develop uh, this one. So I could select these and remove it, which ones I don't want, and then I could add an action. Maybe, uh, let's say I wanna go and expand the scene. Okay, let's go ahead and build that action. Demo one, okay. Uh, but the great thing about these are, you can see they're already nice and extended. Um, I could actually make them a lot smaller. So if I you know, wanted to make a different variation, there would be nothing stopping me from coming here and let's say to Smart Extend. So I wanna get these mobile optimized and ready. So I'll then go ahead and do demo number two, or I could say mobile version. And remember that the, the, the um, main aspect of this is bulk action. Okay, bulk action meaning more than one. So if you're really using this, uh, we can streamline a huge number amount of projects, or if you're doing this for client or personal projects, you can actually input or have, um, you know, five, 10, <clears throat> 10 or as many projects essentially as you want, because hence why it's called bulk action. So uh, this is just gonna make life a lot easier. And you can see that beautiful graphic there that is now created, which I could use for 
you know, mobile devices and my ads. So then I can even go into the editor for the advanced level editing and I can get that ready. So, um, you know, bulk action just makes it easy where I can come and do the same actions. I could then, uh, you know, use smart ex extend uh, for different um, aspect ratios depending on what I need them for but I could make a variety it may be the case that client wants you know um, different versions for all different types of devices and I'm able to do that without having to do this manually because you could imagine to do this manually it would take a little bit longer but just having this um, ability of doing bolt action just automates the entire process and it saves a lot of time okay instead of doing one by one process so that's how you would use the ai bulk actions feature and just remember uh, when it comes to steps we are going to be continuously adding more um so stay tuned for this we will be adding so 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 many more steps um just to make this uh, process even more easier and automated and streamlined to give you the most out of artistly okay so i shall see you in another video Bye bye